Chapter 25, The Final Battle Against the Shadow Dragon Medeus, can prove insurmountable if you have not properly prepared. Unfortunately, some of this preparation goes back several missions prior and is easy to miss. In this guide, I'm going to take you through the vital events that occur throughout the story leading up to the epic final encounter. Disclaimer, this guide is spoiler heavy. Chapter 18, The Sable Order, opens on a narration that says, to obtain the Light Sphere and Star Sphere for Goto, Marth and his army must enter Raman. Chapter 19, Manakete Princess, Tiki has been kidnapped and mind controlled to fight against you. This isn't required, but remember to bring Bantu along to recruit her instead of battling. In this fortress lies the Light Sphere and Star Sphere. You must check all the chests and retrieve them before completing the chapter. Remember, Marth, being entrusted with the Fire Emblem way back in Chapter 6, can open chests freely to help speed this along. Chapter 20, Camus the Sable. Bring Sheeta along to recruit the mighty General Lorenz to help finally dispatch the Sable Order Knight. But upon reaching Macedon, in Chapter 21, Clash in Macedon, Marth and company are confronted with the last gasp of the Knights of Grus, and upon victory, you get access to the second of four secret shops. This is one of the hardest missions in the game, which makes this reward so much sweeter. In the northeastern corner of the map lies a conspicuous patch of trees amongst the hills. To gain access to the shop, the unit must have the VIP card in their inventory. Along with the VIP card, I recommend giving this unit the silver card, which discounts items in the shop by 50%. The silver card is obtainable in the southernmost chest in chapter 14. The VIP card must be retrieved from defeating this curate in Chapter 17. Do not skip on these items, because when you arrive at Chapter 21, the secret shop here grants you a hefty supply of discounted permanent stat boosters, the Power Ring for Strength, Speed Ring for Speed, Secret Book for Skill, and Goddess Icon for Luck. There are no endlessly responding reinforcements once the second wave of Draco Knights and Ballisticians are dispatched. Spend time to bolster your army here at the very least capping the strength and speed stats of your most important combat units. I totally forgot to mention, before you seize the castle in chapter 21, equip Marth with the star and light sphere before moving on to chapter 22. With this newfound strength, move on towards chapter 22, a night-filled sky. Utilize the warp staff to teleport a freshly stat-boosted Marth to the isolated northeastern village where Goto resides. If Marth has both spheres in his inventory, Goto will craft the spell Starlight, capable of countering Garnef's invulnerability. With your new spell in the care of one of your trusted mages, I gave it to Lind, use it against Garnef in Chapter 23, Dark Pont Effect. Upon defeating Garnef with Starlight, Marth is awarded with the legendary Falchion, and reunited with his sister Elise. The Falchion is the key to defeating Medeus quickly. North of Garnef's throne hides another secret shop, for sale is the promotion item for each class. If you want a detailed guide into promotion, check out our beginner's guide, link in the description. You've promoted your units, retrieved the falchion, and rescued Elis from evil. Chapter 24, The Dragon King Realm, the penultimate challenge. In the southwestern corner lies another conspicuous tile, where the remaining stat boosting items, Draco Shield for defense, Seraph Robe for HP, Boots for Movement and Talisman for Resistance are purchasable. However, the Monokade seemingly respawn endlessly, so it is a lot less safe to indulge for a long time in this shop. Also, if you reach the altar in the southern section of the map, at least can revive fallen units just in time for your battle with Medeas. Back to Chapter 25, Chosen by Fate, which should now pose much less of a threat. Some tips for engagement would be make use of warp, with units randomly cordoned off in this map, it's easy to have a group not quite fit for the strong enemies here. Warping units to strengthen these groups will lead the way for Marth to reach Medeus. The falchion on a stat cat Marth leave Medeus helpless in the face of destiny. Medeus takes massive damage from the falchion and is defeated in two turns, thus concluding the War of Shadows. Congratulations. I hope this helps those struggling with the final few chapters of Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light. Obviously you don't have to do everything in this way, but these tips should help ease up the difficulty for those struggling. If you want to study up on the basics of the game, the aforementioned beginner's guide we made is a great place to start. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more base content from your boys at Turnstile.